I'm from Girls Primary Branch of Al Badr Higher Secondary School. I teach <coughs> mathematics of class seven. That is our lecture number two. Yes, girls. That is chapter number one on operation on sets. Content two types of sets. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about the sets. Here we are going to learn about the types of sets. Now these are the types of sets. We are having ten types of sets: empty set, or we can say it null set, finite and infinite set, equal sets, equivalent sets, disjoint sets, overlapping sets, subset, superset, proper subset, universal set. Now one by one by one we will go to the explanation for each of now here it is the empty set a set which doesn't contains any element is called the empty set or null set denoted by symbol these are the symbol by which we represent the empty set see the example let r is equals to set of odd number less than 1 now what is empty set empty set is a set in which we are not able to list the element of a set for example if i ask you to name the birds who are having four legs so is it possible is any bird who is having four legs no it is not possible it is not possible to list the name of those birds who are having four legs because it's not exist the things which don't exist so it means we are not able to make the set and if we are not able to make the set so that set will be empty no elements will be there in the empty set has i have given you set of odd number less than 1 is there any odd number which is less than 1 has you people know that we have started our odd number from 1 so there is no odd number which is less than 1 so that is also a empty set now the next one finite and infinite sets what is finite a set containing only a finite number of element is called finite set example 1 4 9 16 and another words we can say it a set having a limited number of elements that means we are having the starting point of the set and we are also having the ending point of the set so these that means we are having a limited countable numbers of elements are there so the, this kind of set is called finite set for example if i ask you make a set of natural numbers less than 11 make a set of natural number less than 11 so how many elements what are the elements which you will write down inside the set you will start writing it from 1 has you people know that natural number started from 1 so you people start writing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 has i told you that less than 11 so less than 11 is 10 See, I have given you the starting point that the natural number. Everybody know natural number has been started from one, and I have given you the end point as well that it end should be less than eleven. Okay, so it means a set containing a finite, containing a limited number of element is called finite set. Now move on to the infinite set. now infinite set a set containing unlimited number of element is called infinite set now it is a set in which we are having a starting point we know from where we are going to start our set but we don't know the ending point of this set uh, it is here we are having a example of odd number c 1 3 5 7 9 9 we don't know that where it goes we don't know the ending point Okay for example if i ask you list the multiple of 3 if i ask you only this list the multiple of 3 so that is infinite because there is no ending point multiples are counting is countless everybody know okay and if i give it, uh, if i ask you list the multiples of 3 less than 30 so here i have given you the limitation i have given you the limit 
and in the other hand i didn't give you any limit set of multiples of 3 there is no limit that where it goes so if they are having limit that is finite set and if it is doesn't contain any limit so that is in finite equal sets has the name is indicating what does equal mean equal means everything should be same as we are talking about sets so equal sets that means everything should be same in two sets now what are the things are in a set how many things are there in a set everybody know we are having elements in a set we are having number of elements and elements in a set okay check out the definition given two sets k and r are said to be equal if they have exactly the same element and we write k is equals to r otherwise the sets are said to be unequal and we write k is not equal to r see the example let k is equals to 1 2 3 4 and r is equals to 1 2 3 4 if you see the elements if you the, see these two sets k and r see their elements how many elements are there in set k there are four elements yes now how many elements are there in set r there are also four elements yes again okay what are the elements in set k they are 1 2 3 4 yes and what about set r they are also 1 2 3 4 that means the number of elements the number of elements are 4 and the elements both should be same if both are same so that is your equal set for example if i ask you that there is a set 2 okay a is equals to 2 and another one the even prime number what is the even prime number there is only one number in even which is prime what is it yes that is 2 so they both are same how many number of elements we are having we are having only one element and what is it 2 so number of elements and the elements two conditions are there number of elements and the elements they both should be same and if they both are same so that is your equal set now equivalent sets sets which have an equal number of element is called equivalent sets now now in equal set there was two condition that the number of element and element should be same but here in equivalent sets you are having only one condition that you are you element equal number of element should be there sets which have an equal number of elements no matter what are the elements are there in the sets but the number of elements should be same only equivalent sets doesn't need have exactly the same elements only the number of elements should be same see see set a we are having three elements what are they 1 4 6 Se see set b we are having we are also having three elements but they are not same also the number of elements are same but elements are not same the elements are a b c but we are saying that that is our equivalent sets how why we are saying it equi it's equivalent sets because the number of elements are same 